I was raised in a musical family and I've uh, been uh, violin viola with the symphony. Between family and my own difficulties finding employment, I've been homeless for the past 15 years. And then I lost track with the symphony. It was a couple months after that that uh, my girlfriend, she came to be with me. I might have actually been homeless when we started dating. We set up a tent in a backwoods behind a park, and uh, we lived there. Uh, we did not look up here. It's cold, it's wet, this is freezing rain, people. This is what we woke up to today. We got some big solid tree branches back here, and yeah, some pretty deep snow. I got a call from the Lake County Health Department about some people staying in the back. That's where I discovered Carl and uh, it started from there. He started hearing where I was coming from and said, we are going to get you off that street. We got a call saying, are you ready next week to move in? And I remember walking in the door next to Adrian. They handed me the keys and I lost it. I, I, I walked in, fell to my knees and I just said, honey, we're home. This place means I can come in when it's raining and listen to the rooftop. I can close the windows. I can open the windows. I can let the breeze go. I can turn the heat on. I can cook. I have a kitchen and a refrigerator. Having the assurance that I can make my music. A friend of ours, who also plays with the symphony, got us some tickets to a concert. I said, I want this again. I want to be a part of this again. When can I audition? Having my music back has brought me to life again. I continue to see Carl, and uh, it's, it's all smiles, and um, it's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. We could shelter from 80 to 120 people. We generally do a night. We have uh, groups there. We're providing meals. We're providing overnight shelter. I have a life. I need this. I need this. Thank you, Pads. You helped coordinate all of this. Well, this is a team effort, and I am just uh, so grateful to be a part of that team to bring some uh, relief to someone who is suffering out here in the streets.